Wow, uh, I've been waiting for this moment for like four months and now that it's actually here, I gotta say I am pretty nervous. It's been a really long time since I last uh, built my own PC. I think it was in 2016 or 15 even. So I gotta be honest here, uh, I have pretty much no idea what I'm about to do here, but I hope that everything is gonna go well. And yeah, <laughs> let's get started, I guess. I guess the first thing we should do is go over what we actually have here, starting off with the case. It's a Lion Lee uh something wait i actually forgot the name already oh yeah it's the lion lee o11 dynamic it was recommended to me by a friend of mine and it's an absolutely beautiful case and i think this is exactly what i needed to showcase all the rgb we're gonna have here the cpu is amd ryzen 5 56 100x uh, it's a pretty good one especially for csgo as for the gpu i wanted to get the 3070 but they were just way too expensive in estonia i think they're priced at 1400 euros in estonia at the moment so yeah that was a no for me but luckily i was able to grab this uh i wouldn't say for cheap but cheaper than other 360s in Estonia and fun fact I did get the last one in stock so I'm pretty happy about that then the next thing is you're probably wondering like why do I need a 750 watt uh, power supply and you're right I don't I don't absolutely do not need it but there were two things why I bought this one. First, I wanted to get the white one because they come with white cables. White cables are gonna go well with my black and kind of black and white uh, team here. Second, what I already mentioned is that I was planning to get a 3070, but you know, it is what it is. As for the motherboard, we have ROG Strix B550. A gaming yes that's right I do have to read the labels because I can't remember all of these things it's a pretty good one again I like the black and white team this motherboard has and it has also two PCI uh, 4.0 slots which is which is uh, great for the future upgrading uh, moving on as for the storage we have the 500 gigabyte m.2 uh, ssd which is good enough for me at first but i will upgrade it uh, in the next couple of months same thing for the trident c neo 16 gigabyte uh, 3600 megahertz uh, ram i'm also gonna upgrade it to 32 gigabytes in the future but for now it is good enough for general cooling we have three coarser rgb fans here i think these look absolutely amazing i cannot wait to see them with my own eyes and last for the cpu cooler we have the cooler master hyper uh, 212 evo which is again upgradable in the future but for now this will do uh, i think in the future i am gonna get a liquid cooler okay that should be everything now um What's the next step? As you can see, I haven't I haven't really thought it out because it's been such a long time when I last did something like this. I'm pretty sure the first thing we should do is start with the motherboard. So I'm gonna get these things out of the way for a moment. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. We have a bunch of cables here as well. I don't need this. What is this thing? Does any one of you know what is this thing? I mean, it looks a little bit like a wristband. I'm not sure if we're gonna need it. So a couple of cables, more cables. Ooh, we got some nice, nice stickers. Actually, a lot of stickers. I have so many like PC and gaming related stickers. I, I should need a like book to store them. But these look really nice. I'm gonna keep them. And the manual, of course, which has something inside here. Oh, it's a CD. Well, that's a bummer. It's not like I'm gonna need it. Okay, here we have the motherboard itself. Let's try to carefully take it out so we don't break it. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw everything on the floor. Okay, dude, this looks really good. I like how the back plate looks and yeah, I like the whole black and white team it's, it has going on. It looks sick as F, boy. I'm sorry about that. I guess the first thing we're gonna do here is insert a CPU. I am so nervous about this because I don't want to screw anything up in front of you. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Okay, so this is the RAID cooling fan. We're not gonna use this, it's trash. And look, we got another sticker, nice. Uh, of course, the, yeah, we got the CPU as well. That's great. I don't think I see a cooling paste anywhere, which might become a problem. But I mean, not cooling paste, but uh, what is it called? Thermal paste? Yeah, thermal paste. I don't know where it is. I don't, I don't think we have any. Maybe in the in the CPU cooling box. Okay, so you're not gonna see any of the, any of this, but I'm gonna very carefully try to insert this somewhere here. I don't know which way it should go. I have no clue. Dude, I'm so nervous. Shh, don't make a noise. I fuck it up. 
I should just read the manual, man. Oh, I know, I know. I see the indicator. I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. It's fine. Okay. Oh, and it popped in. Now let's make sure it actually stays here. There we go. We are like 10% done. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Next thing, I think we could mount the storage. Okay, and here we go. Oh, damn, that's so small. If you're gonna do a what she said joke in the comments, I'm gonna punch you. But yeah, it is small, damn, technology, am I right? So we're gonna put this here and I am gonna need a screwdriver, which I don't have. All right, let's see. So how do I connect this? Okay, it's in. Uh, now I need another, I need another screw here. Yes. Yes. Ah, beautiful. Don't forget to remove this. Otherwise your SSD might get very hot. All right. All right. And we have our storage space installed. Whew. What are we now? Halfway there? And now, next up is RAM. Sweet, beautiful RGB RAM. It's gonna be amazing. I am super, super excited. Funny to think how most of this video is just me worrying about stuff. We got another sticker, epic. And we have two RAM sticks. All right, so which way are these gonna go here? I'll go this way, so this way it is. Oh. Okay, it's in now. And another one, let's put this right here. There we go. Ooh. Okay, I feel uh, I feel pretty good about this now. Let's move on. Uh, I think the next thing we should do is see if there's any thermal paste here. If not, then we are definitely gonna have a problem because I don't think I have any in my house anywhere. Please, please have a thermal paste, paste please. Yes, there's therm thermal paste here. Okay, all good. So let's install, install the cooler and then we can finally put the CPU inside the case, which is, I think, the most exciting part because I really like this case. So this is the cooler. I have used the same cooler before in my life. I think I had like Intel i5, something 5500k or something yeah it's, it was a long time ago let me make some room here again so how do we how do we install this good question absolutely need the manual here amd okay so first thing it is that we need to remove the fan temporarily how do i remove the fan guys i need help oh never mind okay should just come off now there we go now what okay so the next step is to oh fuck, this is difficult man i have no idea what do you want me to do man i absolutely realize some of you might be cringing uh, while i'm doing this but it's been a long time since last time i've done this so uh, i'm doing my best <laughs> okay forgive me forgive me please don't kill me i need to do something with this thing i cannot understand what am i supposed to do here Okay, I'm starting to understand this just a tiny bit, I think. I think I am starting to understand this a little bit now. Okay, let's remove those things. Doesn't look like we need them. Okay, do you think now should be a good time to use the thermal paste? Okay, let's squeeze it on just a tiny bit. Oh yeah! I think that was a little bit more than a tiny bit, but that's fine. I think I've been recording this for about 45 minutes now. I'm making huge progress here, guys. Uh, what the fuck is this now? And looks like I need these things here. No? I gotta say, I am still absolutely clueless about what I am about to do here. And scared, I'm clueless and scared. Okay, so I need to insert this here. Yes. Ah, oh, I get it now. I get it. Yes, it's easy, man. It's easy. You just put these things together. Yeah, just like, I, I know you're not gonna be able to see pretty much any of this, but just imagine that I'm doing some great work here to just go in. Okay, there we go. We got two more of these. Dude, I am making so much progress. You have no idea. So now I just screw this in. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so these screws should be in place and we should be able to place the cooler on top of the CPU now. How are we gonna do that? Uh, good question. We are actually so close to putting this you know, the whole motherboard and stuff into the case. Ah, uh, so close. Let's do it. Okay, so 
Uh, I think it's this way or this way. Does it matter? I really don't think it does. And we have a landing. Did I actually do it correctly? I still don't know. Is it supposed to go in with that much pressure? No, 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 no. Don't tell me I fucked it up already. Okay, okay. It's happening, it's happening. Oh, I think we got it. I think we are actually done. And we maxed it out. Maxed out this one. Oh. Damn. Finally, we are done with what is most probably the easiest part of putting together a brand new PC. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm, I am proud of myself, I gotta say. Wait, let me. I gotta take a break here. <sighs> we are over 60 minutes into the video and we managed to put together the whole CPU and motherboard and stuff. So now let me put these things away. We won't need them anymore. I don't need you. Get the fuck out. Oh, we still need to put on the fan. Yeah, I actually forgot about that. Oh, fuck, where's the manual? Come back, come back. I still need you. Okay, put it on, on the fan. Should be pretty straightforward and easy, right? Uh, which way is it gonna go? Here or here? Okay, I guess it can't go here because it doesn't fit. So it actually needs to fit here, above the RAM. But then I can't see the RGB on the RAM. Dude, the RAM is on the way. How am I supposed to fit this? Can you see anything? Okay, it's... I think it's in now. I really feel like it's uh, blocking the RAM here. Okay, it's not too bad. We can still kind of see it. So, But this definitely tells me that I need to upgrade this uh, cooler to the liquid cooling one ASAP because this is it's it doesn't it doesn't look very pretty but it's gonna have to do for now. So where do I insert this thing? Okay, I need I need the motherboard manual. Oh, it's in the box, isn't it? CPU fan. There should be a CPU fan slot somewhere. Okay, let's get you back on top of here. Uh, CPU fan slot. Where are you? There is no CPU fan on this PC. Oh, I think I found it, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. I already have a cable management problem here. <sighs> now, maybe now, we can move on. Okay, so how do we put this inside the case? Good question. I don't know. Let's figure it out. How do you open this? I guess you have to... There are some two screws in the back of the case. When you remove those, you can remove the top panel. And when you remove the top panel, if I'm correct, then you can also remove the, f uh, the side panel here. If I knew how. No? Oh, you just gotta... You just gotta... Uh, push it up a little bit. Uh, let's put it here. All right, so actually I'm gonna also remove the other side panel so we can start with the cable management soon. Hello? Don't be stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck. Door stuck! Okay, um, I removed the side panel. I think this would be the best approach. Just do this. Okay. No way, dude. Uh, we might have a slight problem, which is not a slight problem at all. It's actually, it's actually a very huge issue. I don't know if I can show you somehow, but the cooling system we have right now, it's uh, too large for the case. Oh, I know what I have to do. Currently I placed the RAM too close to the cooling. So, so the fan, the cooling fan is actually like kind of on top of the RAM, which is not great. It's it's taking a lot of space, so I'm gonna change the slots of the RAM and we should be better. Okay, maybe I fixed it a little bit, but if not, then we might have to go with the default uh, Ryzen 5 uh, cooler. It looks, It doesn't look promising, I gotta say. Okay, so I took a little break here and I confirmed that the CPU cooling, these top pin, pins, I hope that you see them, are definitely too big and I can't put on the side panel, which sucks so bad. I don't know, man. But I guess then I'm just not gonna put on the side panel because I'm gonna have to keep the cooling because obviously the stock cooler is shit and I can't use it and I don't have any other cooling available right now. So, what a bummer, man. I was actually afraid this was gonna happen, but I was still hoping it wouldn't happen, but hey. It happened, of course. All right, let's continue on then, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Jesus. I'm gonna rotate this to your way so maybe you can actually see something, but I am gonna, I am gonna uh, screw in the motherboard. And I think they go with 
these little things. No, they don't want to go in. Maybe not these ones then. What do you want from me then? Should be these ones. No, it doesn't go in. It doesn't fit. Okay, maybe these ones here then. Am I getting frustrated? No, absolutely not. I don't know why would you think that. Okay, yeah, we're on our way now. Okay, now that I have all the screws in for the motherboard and it is installed to the case, we can move on. We can continue. What should we do next? Uh, I think installing the power supply at this point should be a pretty good idea. So let me get rid of all this stuff here. Don't need you. Bye bye. Don't need you. Don't want to even see you. It's gonna take me ages to edit this video, god damn it. Okay, I guess power supply then. Let's do it. Power supply. I am going crazy, definitely. I am definitely going insane. Okay, now. So how do you, how do you open? No, but really, how do you open? Got it. Ooh. White cable ties, which is nice. It is fully modular, which I don't think it's something I really need. Could have gone with uh, semi-modular, modular, but whatever. And here in this bag, we have ba -ba -da -da, white cables. Fuck yeah, man. They look sick. I'm probably not gonna need all of those. So many of them. Uh, I hope there's another like tutorial or something about these cables. Otherwise I don't know what to do with them. All right, let's get this into the PC. For this, I'm gonna rotate the PC so you can see what's going on. Now you can see exactly that um, the power supply doesn't go down here like it usually does. It goes sideways. And there we go. We can now lock in the power supply, I think. So these go here, they're fully nice and easy. Let's do this. And now I guess we can do some cable management. Yay! Okay, so I did remove another thing from the back, uh, some kind of back plate for better cable management. Makes it a little bit easier to manage back here. Uh, let's see. So this is what the back looks like. Pretty clean. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these cables, but I guess we will figure it out together. So I suppose these go, these all these go to the motherboard somewhere. So let's see. Okay, manual. I need a manual. Okay, I got all these parts done. So now we move on here. It's n there's nothing in here. There's legit nothing in this manual that, that would help me. Maybe here. Important information from Corsair. Do, 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 do. No, this doesn't look like something I need. I'm doing so great so far. It's going amazing. Amazingly well. Ooh, now we're talking, baby. The motherboard's manual comes to the rescue. All right. I still don't know what the fuck is this? What is this thing? There's nowhere I need it. There's nothing here. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to something else. If you got the reference, you're a champ. Okay, what is this thing? Do I need it? Is it necessary? There's no information anywhere on what the fuck it actually is. And there's so many cables here. Okay, there's something that says CPU. Ooh, that is interesting. No clue. I, I do think I need this though. I definitely need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I do. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck this manual. So I got all of this figured out. Look at this. I got it. So I gotta, I gotta put these things through here. Yeah, so then you can't see it, but on the other side, I'm already connecting it to where it has to go. It doesn't fit. Okay, it does, it does fit. I just need to. Just need to jiggle with it a little bit. Yeah, go, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, nice. There we go. Motherboard's power. I think this is the motherboard's power is connected. Wait, let me. Yeah, this. Okay, this is good. Now we have to put this here somehow. I, I don't know what are these things. Get out of my way. I guess I'm gonna need them soon, but right now, uh, no. So this goes here. That's re really easy. And in we go. 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 go, 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 Yep. And another one right here, I guess. Right? Yes. We got it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. How many more cables do we have? Okay, we, we have the power connectors. That's good. What else do we need? Okay, we have a system panel he header somewhere here. 
Oh, I see, I see it, I see it. Yeah. We need to connect this thing. This is uh, for the front uh, panel. Then we need probably this thing as well, like HD audio. Okay, okay, we, we're getting somewhere. We, we are getting somewhere, definitely. Power, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't think we need this. Do you think we need this? I don't think we do. Uh, let's see the front panel, the front panel, the front panel. So it should be down here. There are a couple of things here. I know this part is really interesting because you can see everything, absolutely everything I'm doing. Okay, don't worry. Okay, let me double check. 13 front panel audio, yes, let's go. We have the audio. Okay, now we need to connect these things here, which is gonna be a little bit tricky because you really have to watch the labels. Otherwise it's not, it might not work. Okay, should be good. Okay, I think we got all this figured out now. So what else do we need? I'm pretty sure we need to put some cables up here. So maybe these ones. Okay, that fits perfectly. So I'm hoping we actually need this as well. Oh, this is one of the power connectors. How cool is that? Okay, you know what? Let's insert the graphics card as well. And then maybe we can, we can see where we are at actually. So let's take a look at this beautiful thing. It's not the nicest looking graphics card, but it is what it is. It's fine. Okay. So it looks like this. It's pretty nice. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I am instantly going to remove this thing. Okay. Let's see if we can insert it. We need to remove this one and this one. So let's do it. It's really lightweight, actually. I thought it was gonna be much heavier, but nope. Okay, it's in. Now let's put these bad boys back together. No, oh, fuck, this is difficult. Careful now. Okay, I think we got it. So now we definitely need to put something in there. Why is this in the middle? That is annoying. Why is this whole, uh, this cable uh, con connection thing in the middle. So, uh, the GPU, the GPU, the GPU. Do we have something labeled GPU? No, this is CPU. So this, this must be the GPU. This is PCIe. I don't know, what is this? Guess I have no clue. I really don't know. Oh, okay. No, this is the correct one. So we're gonna use these cables. It looks correct. No, that's not correct. It should be this one. No, it's not. This is more difficult than I anticipated. So this doesn't fit. Oh, okay. I tried to put it in the wrong way. That's, that's where I was mistaken. There we go. It should slide right in here. No? Still no. Okay, I got it now. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Yes! 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 It's in. But this is really annoying. So this is just gonna tangle here like this. Well, that, that is not great. So now we're gonna take it, take this cable all the way to the back and I'm gonna connect it with the, with the power supply, of course. I think I've been recording this for like two hours now <laughs> or close to that. And uh, we're getting pretty close to having it already. Uh, the power, uh, the cable management is looking pretty decent, pretty optimistic. I thought it was gonna look much worse, but actually it is quite all right. So let's see, what else do we need? To be honest, I'm pretty exhausted at this point, <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. I think one thing this motherboard doesn't have is the connect connectivity option for USB type C, but I do have the cable and nowhere to put it in. I mean, there is a USB type C in the back panel, but I was expecting that there was gonna be one for the front panel as well, because we have the capability for this, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we are almost done with the PC build. I'm super exhausted, but we have one more thing. We need to connect the fans. So let's get on with it. Okay, we have shit tons of cables here, so. More cable management. Heck yeah, man. We have the very nice fans over here. We're gonna install those fans here. I'm gonna have to double check which way they should be going in. Okay, we have all the fans here. Uh, we have the cables and stuff. Don't know what this exactly is, but we're gonna find out really soon. Called an RGB hub. Uh, I guess this is where you can control everything. We have another kind of hub. I think this is so you can add even more fans. I think. Actually, I don't know. Cables, cables, 
screws, more screws and a manual. Okay, great. I'm gonna need this. Okay, interesting stuff. Um, I guess we should start with actually installing the fans. So these fans, I have to install them backwards because the air is gonna flow through this. And when I put this in here, it's gonna intake air into the case and the pressure is gonna push the air out towards the back of the case. Now I have two choices. I can either install it into the back of the bracket here or I could install it into the to the front of the bracket. Let me take a closer look. I think I know how I'm gonna go with this. Just have to make sure I can put the cables to the back of the case so they are not too much in our face. Okay, we can screw in the first fan. Any moment now when I can find the screws, okay. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it from the other side. Okay, I think I almost have the first one installed, which is great. Ooh, okay, we got the first one. Excellent. On to the second and third one. So, I took a second break now, and I gotta say, while I'm still extremely excited for this setup, uh, I am even more excited to just get this shit done and get over with it and just play Minecraft with RTX on. But let's install the second fan. I am so exhausted. I want food. I want water. I want rest. Please help me. Let's go. We can do it. So the second fan is gonna go right here. Okay, that is perfect. Another set of screws. Let's get going. You should see the mess I have behind me here. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw already what is, what is going on in the back of this it's not pretty second fan is done the last one i can feel it we are actually really close to finishing this setup and then we can go and benchmark some of the games like uh, csgo and minecraft <laughs> so this is gonna go right here just like this i think is correct yep one final step oh and then we ha actually have to connect all the fans to the what was it? Lighting Note Pro. And then to the CPU as well. <sighs> we got all three fans installed. Excellent. I think I'm also gonna remove those SSD brackets here because we don't really need those. Okay, I've removed both of the SSD brackets. Now I'm gonna turn this thing around and we're gonna do some cable management and installing of the RGB hub. I'm gonna pretend like I know how to put all this together. So let's now take a look where can I connect this cable here. As with everything else so far, I don't see anywhere I can install this. Oh, I know, it goes into the SATA power, so I need, uh, I need those things. I need those things, yeah, I know, I know. Oh yeah, it does, look. It actually does go there. This cable goes here into this. There we go. And this should pop in right here. There we go, perfect. And now I need to figure out how can we put this here somewhere. I can see now the cable management is getting a little bit out of hand, but I think it's still okay. Okay, now we're gonna install the Lot Controller Pro, whatever this thing was. And this also goes into the SATA cable which is perfect because I already know how this goes. We got to really start thinking about the cable management here. This can get out of hand real quick. Okay, there's a lot of cables down here. Now I have the RGB hub and the controller connected with it, each other. Everything should be in place. I think what I'm gonna do here is install this panel back and then I can install the uh, RGB hub and the controller inside of this so it's not in the way okay yet again i did another break i took took a look at some tutorials on youtube about installing the the fans and i think they should be installed now uh, correctly the only thing i gotta worry about is cable management because it doesn't look great right now and but i don't know what to do about it i have no clue hats off to people who can manage to do some cable management. I cannot imagine the cable management when you have like nine fans connected to your PC. So I think one of the last things to do is just put this uh, back panel back on uh, and somehow install the uh, RGB hub into this back plate. And then we can put all the other pieces together and then let's see if this PC actually works or did I fuck up somewhere. Okay, so I don't think I have to install this somewhere. 
I mean, I could install this on the on the floor of the case, but I'll just I think I'll just leave it out there and see. You can't even see the cables. Perfect cable management, I'd say. That actually doesn't look bad at all. Just look at my perfect cable management. All I gotta do is put back the, all the panels, which should be easy peasy. Okay, this is installed. Let me now show you the biggest issue with this case. I have everything ready to go. I just want to put on this last panel. Well, not last, I gotta put on the top one as well, but I gotta put on this side panel first. So let's just see what happens when I try to put on the side panel. Well, it doesn't fit. Oh my God, because of these things, I cannot put on the side panel. What the hell am I supposed to do now? The only, the only way I can install this side panel is if I just pop these bad boys into the socket and just let it be like this. It's not connected from down there, not at all. There's like two centimeter gap right there and it's not safe at all. But uh, what else am I supposed to do? Let's see if we can now install the back panel, the top panel. Okay, the top panel is secured. This is the best I can do right now. I really need to change this cooler ASAP. Anyways, beside that one huge problem, I think we are pretty much done. What do you say we just plug in the power cable and see if the PC actually starts? Okay, now I'm getting really nervous. <sighs> okay, here we go now. The moment of truth. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Oh! <laughs> Damn, boy! Holy shit, the noise it makes. Wow. I couldn't be more proud of myself. This is just amazing. You cannot believe how relieved I am right now that this just worked with the first try. Oh my god. Look at the RGB, guys, look at the RGB. And the RAM as well. And even this here is a green color. Oh, I love the noise it makes. So now these fans here, these three fans, are pulling in the air inside the case. And because of the airflow pressure, the air is gonna get pulled towards the case and into the sideways where this uh, CPU cooler inhales or get, takes in the air as well. And also the GPU and because of the pressure, the airflow is pushed out from the back panel here. Let me actually turn off the light. Look at this. Wow. It looks really good, I gotta say. I cannot wait to see how it looks at night. Okay, so it's not actually over yet. I'm still gonna have to do a BIOS flashback. I'm still gonna have to install Windows 10. I'm gonna now go do these things, then I'm also gonna clean up all this mess back here. It's terrible, you don't wanna see it. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is install TSGO and we're gonna see how much FPS this bad boy can handle. I'll see you in the moment. Okay, I just wanna show you for a second what is going on back here. It's not looking pretty. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh my God, it's gonna take me such a long time to clean it. But it is totally worth it, I gotta say. All right, everything is set up. As you can see, the PC looks absolutely gorgeous. I am so proud of this build. The current colors look amazing. I even, <laughs> look, check this out. I even got the matching wallpaper and I even matched my keyboard. How cool is that, huh? Putting together this new PC was a lot of fun, but also a lot of headache. I'm glad it's over now, but I am super glad I did this. It was tons of fun. I would do it again in the future and with my next builds as well. There is one thing that I'm quite annoyed by this build and I'm gonna show you right now. So if you look closely at the PC, you can see that there's quite a gap here in the side panel and the front panel, which shouldn't be there. And this is caused by these little things here on top of this, because the cooler is huge and it didn't actually fit the case. What I'm gonna do about this is I'm just gonna replace this cooler as soon as I can with a liquid cooling system, I think. But now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's do some benchmarking. So first off, let's do CSGO. This is obviously the game I use to play a lot. Currently my video settings are all set to high or very high. And my current resolution is 2560 by 1440, which is obviously not the usual res resolution in CSGO, but 
I do quite like it. So we're going to go with this setting first. So with 2K resolution, let's see what we're going to get. Currently it's standing around 400. So this here tells us that the average frame rate was 327.11, which is a great result in 2K. But let's now try with the usual um, or the default resolution of for CSGO, which is 1920 by 1080. I think it's gonna be around 500 or maybe like 450. So our average frame rate is 450. Coming from a place where I was struggling to get 200 FPS, I, I think I'm quite happy with that result. Moving on, it is yet another day and I'm gonna redo the Minecraft benchmark because the last time I did something wrong, I had the wrong settings. First off, we're gonna start a brand new world, but first of all, I'm gonna show you my uh, video settings. I have all maxed out. Uh, you're probably not gonna be able to see this, but I have all maxed out. Shaders are off right now. Render distance is 12 chunks. Let's go, let's start a new world. Oh, and also I should mention that we are currently playing on 2K resolution. Now let's see. Oh my God, okay. Wow, this was a little bit unexpected. <laughs> we have currently around 200 FPS. Sometimes dips down to 100, but most of the time it's over 200, even close to 300. So that's already really good news. And remember, this is with 2K resolution. I'm not even gonna try full HD because I won't need it. I'm gonna turn on shaders now. I'm, I'm using the BSL shader pack. Damn, the game looks so cool pretty like i've seen this already i played minecraft yesterday a little bit with shaders but every time you launch minecraft with shaders you're just like wow is this is minecraft or is this something else anyways the fps is currently around 84 87 90 so pretty good i'm really happy about it i would imagine that if i would now load my own world where i have many buildings and stuff uh, i would get much lower fps so let's check this out for a second as well and with 2k resolution shaders on all maxed out in my own world we are getting around what is it 60 58 56 around 60 fps and when we go outside there's gonna be a little bit more lag we're dropping down to 54 and it's still kind of the same it looks pretty pretty good shut up cow flexing my dragon egg here <laughs> so 2k resolution shaders on Minecraft works perfectly. Anyways, I'm gonna now switch back to the clip I recorded two days ago. So all in all, I am absolutely thrilled to have this PC and I am so happy I put this together. It took me a little over four months to collect the money and, um, and order the pieces. If you watched this video so far, then leave a like maybe, it would help me a lot. And if you haven't yet, then make sure to subscribe as well. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. GG.